All right, hi, and welcome back. Attorney Steve Vondren here. Welcome to another exciting video. I hope you guys are having a great weekend out there, staying safe, all that good stuff. Today, we are going to talk about how to register a screenplay. How to register a screenplay for copyright protection, okay? Now, first of all, why do you want copyright protection? Because in order to pursue a case in court nowadays, due to the recent Supreme Court holding United States Supreme Court in the Fourth Estate case about a year or so ago, you have to have a registered copyright if you're going to bring a lawsuit. So it's the main way to enforce your copyrights. Other people may say, well, I'll just register with my uh, screenplay with the Writers Guild. You can do that, but that's not a copyright. That's something totally different. So um, I'll go over that in a minute. But let's get started here. Let's go to type it in copyright registration. Registration. This is going to give you a quick look. Now, first off, I want to let you know to use the Mozilla browser, the Firefox. Okay, first of all, they recommend that you use the Firefox. If you don't, if you use Google Chrome, which is what I usually do, it'll give you a little message that you may not be able to experience all the features. So I just started with Firefox here for you. You can download that if you like. So all you do, you come here, log into the ECO, Electronic Copyright Registration System. It's not expensive. Whoops, what did I do? Got an, what's going on here? Um, let's see, what's going on? All right. All right. So um, all you do is you log in. You create an account. If you need to register a new user, just create an account. Very simple. I've, I've already got an account, Attorney Steve, and password. I'm not going to let you know that. Keep that a secret. Let's get in here and take a peek, okay? So this is what you see. Basically, when you go to register a copyright, this is what you're looking at. Um, nowadays, you're looking at about 65 bucks. Okay, so this is not expensive, folks. And I, I always tell people, um, copyright is probably one of the the most is one of probably one of the easiest. Trademarks pretty easy too, um, but copyright is a simple intellectual property right that anybody can get. Like you, you create something, you draw something, you sing something, write a song, write a poem, write lyrics. All these things can be copyrighted. Okay, but we're talking today about screenplays. A lot of people are doing screenplays, trying to sell it to Hollywood and make a fortune and retire and all that good stuff. So let's just take a look. Here you can see if you you have some of these other things. This is kind of your portal. Okay, you got cases you're working on, this, that, and the other. Uh, but when you want to get started, basically, you're going to come here to the standard input, uh, application. As you can see, recommended for most works. Most of your works is going to be this, okay? Other works that you can register over here, um, you can see published works, groups of photographs. You can register, photographers do this, register uh, photographs in groups, this, that, and the other. So if it's one of these little special categories, uh, you would come to these forms. If you pre-registration, I'm going to do a video on this. Only certain items can be pre-registered if certain requirements are met. This is under 17 USC 408. That's United States Code 408. I'm going to go over that in another video. Make sure you subscribe to this channel if you like, if you're an artist, photographer, filmmaker, videographer, YouTuber, all that stuff. Okay, but let's get back here. Say we have a screenplay. All right, let's get down to it, right? That's what you came here for. So you come here and you can see it's going to give you some instructions. I'm not going to spend too much time on that. Um, they give you this down here. It looks like, you know, you would click on these links. But actually, that's not what you do. You just come right here to start registration. All right. So once you get in here, you can see there's a save for later, this kinds of thing, um, date that it's opened. And you see here, now you got the one, two, three. This is what you're doing, okay? You're filling out the form, which is going to consist of these items, okay? Very simple. You pay, and then you're going to submit a sample of your work, okay? In a case of a screenplay, you're going to upload your PDF. I'm not going to do that at the end. I think you guys all know how to upload something by now. And I think you all know how to pay by now. So let's, let's go through this, though. So you're going to start with the type of work. And let's take a look. Screenplay. So a lot of people will get confused here. Which section would you put it in? Would it be literary work, sound recording, work of visual or visual arts? Is it a performing art? Is it a motion picture? It would seem like maybe it's a motion picture. But the answer to this question is actually 
coming down right there. It's a work of, considered a work of the performing arts, okay? And so you're going to click on that. It's, you know, it's not a literary, I would, some people think that it's literary work. It seems like that, also seems like motion picture, but don't make the mistake. It's right here. If you make mistakes, it's going to delay, okay? The typical time frame is people ask how long, you know, just say, you know, three to six months, okay? It's, it depends how busy things are. So it's a work of the performing arts, very simple. You've got something here includes um, a musical work such as a song with or without lyrics, a dramatic work such as a screenplay or a script. There we go, bingo. A pantomime, a lot of people don't know that you can, you can copyright a pantomime. Did you know that? Or a choreographic work, okay? Other things that are typical or like podcasts or stage plays. Comedy routines can go in here, those kinds of things, okay? So um, you're just going to do that, and so we come down here, click the box to confirm you have read the description above, and selected the entry that best describes the type of work. Yeah, that looks like we're good. If you're not sure, you can go read these circulars. The Copyright Office puts out a circular, a lot of circulars actually, and um, I'm going to create some links to the to that, but... Uh, that's neither here nor there. So um, anyway, so there you have it. You're going to collect continue. Note, type of work cannot be changed after you click continue. Okay, so make sure you got it right. Here we are, types of work. Okay, continue. All right, titles. Here we are, titles. Give the titles exactly as it appears on the work. If there is no title, give an identifying phrase or just state that it's untitled, okay? So just come here, what's the title, title type, um, you, have title of, you have title of work being registered, previous or an alternative title, title of a larger work series. So I'm just going to go here, title of the work being registered. Uh, I'm going to say we're writing a screen story about one of the best attorneys ever, attorney. Let's call it Attorney Steve Story. Okay, so that's the name of our that's the name of our screenplay. Okay, so just save it here. Okay, save it here. Title of work: Attorney Steve Story. Now realize if you sell your screenplay, they may change it. They may say uh, your name was dumb. We're going to come up with a better one because we're experts and you're not. But we like your screenplay. Okay, so you so you give that. You're back here. Looks good. We're at titles. Continue. Okay. Now we're down here, publication. Publication results from the distribution of copies of a work to the public by sale or transfer of the ownership or by rental, lease, or lending. A work is published if there has been an offering to distribute copies to a group of persons or persons uh, for purposes of further distribution, a public performance, or a public display. A public performance or display does not by itself constitute a publication. So I just wrote my Attorney Steve Story screenplay. It's perfect. It's amazing, but it's never been published. Okay, so what I'm going to do, if you have need some information, click there. Um, and you can just like right click that and open in a new window. Uh, has it been published? No, the work has not been published. The year of completion, well, that's right now, that's 2020. Let's say I just finished it. If you pre-registered, as I said, I'm going to do another video on this, you would put in your pre-registration number, but that's not the case here, okay? So let's just go continue. As you can see, we're working right through our checklist. Beautiful, right? Could this be any easier, folks? Um, authors, who's the author? Who is the author? Well, it's me. Now, sometimes you may have co-authors. You may say, well, it's me and and um, somebody else. So you would want to add add both. But um, And you would do that. So you just go new. Um, you would put in my name, you know, not... Again, don't put in my name. You put in your name. We'll just say, uh, let's say I'm the author. Uh, you'd put me here. If it's an organization, if if I'm going to register this under my organization, Attorney Steve LLC, for example, you would do something like that. Um, there's a box here for work for hire. Okay, work for hire. Now that's where you hire someone. A work for hire basically is if you're a boss and you have employees and your employees create a PowerPoint for you. That's basically considered to be the prop, the copyright of the owner of the of the employer. Okay, so that's one way that that the the boss owns the work. Why? The boss is paying for it, okay? Uh, unless there's other, another type of agreement that's being made. Um, so work for hire, but can also be a specially commissioned project, 
maybe you find somebody on Fiverr and they write a song for you. Okay, like I like Fiverr, F I V E R R. It's a fun site. Um, you can, but you can hire someone. You can, but you need to make sure you get the rights that you get the rights to the work. You can call it a work for hire, and sometimes there's, but there's a difference sometimes between a work for hire and, and an assignment. We're going to talk about that in another video, not right now. Okay. Um, there's also some other information down here: citizenship. Um, domicile, year of birth, things like that. Okay, if you want to um, file anonymously or under a pseudonym, you could do that here too. Okay, so you know, you know, you could, you know, William Tell or something. You want to come in under some pseudonym? Okay, it's up to you. Okay, so now you may have one or more authors for your work for your for your screenplay. Okay. Um, or you know, or your song, or your computer programs, whatever you're registering. There may be one or more authors. Okay, so this is what they're looking for. Who is the author? So really, what you do is you click here, new, and you can have an individual author. It could be, it could be, you know, um, you know, let's call them, let's call them Chuck, let's call them Chuck Spade. Yeah, you know, we're just making we're making up names here. Don't use this. I only say that because I've seen people use a name that I've put on here before. It's just a if it's a made up name, folks. Or you can do an organization. Okay, you can do a name. Let's call him Chuck Spade. Or you could do a a organization like Attorney Steve LLC. Again, do not use this. This is not what you want to do. It's <laughs> please don't. So. Um, so let's just call it Chuck Spade for now, okay? So you put your name in there, use your middle initial if you want, and it will say, is this author's contribution a work made for hire? So now employees of a company, when an employee makes something uh, for an employer during the course of their employment, that those copyrights, maybe it's a PowerPoint presentation for the job, the employees are making the works for the employer. The owner is going to be the right, have the rights, the copyrights to the work. Okay, work for hire, work made for hire comes up where you're hiring someone. Say I hire hire a musician on Fiverr, F-I-V-E-R-R, -R, one of my favorite sites. You go hire a musician on one of these freelancing sites. They create you a song. They write you a song. Okay, maybe they contribute some poetry, whatever. Um you want to make sure you're getting a work for hire agreement. You want to making sure that the rights are being assigned to you, that you're going to hold all the rights. And I'm going to talk about the difference between work made for hire and an assignment. But let's just say you're the, the screenplay writer. You're, it's not a work for hire. You wrote it yourself. It's all yours. Just put no, okay? And then here you've got to fill out citizenship, either Sit your place of citizenship or your domicile. You see the you see the red here. That means or either or. So you do an individual author or an organization. Okay, so you do citizenship or domicile. So some people say, well, what about citizenship? If I'm not a citizen, is that going to hurt my application? No, it's not going to hurt. They don't discriminate against. Um, this country, that country, legal, illegals, that's that's not part of the deal. But you do have to put the information in here to move to the next screen. So I'm just going to come here, United States. Okay, and then let's save. And then they're going to ask, well, what did the author create? Was it the music? Was it the lyrics? Was it a musical arrangement? And I'm not going to talk about these definitions right now. We're talking about a screenplay. So I'm going to come right into here. This is what was created or could be other and then just save okay now if you had another author you would right now you can see down here we have one author if you had another author you could come down here and uh, add in another you know another author okay you could so you could do that and you could save okay um, again you've got to put in put in one or the other okay so let's just say you let's just do that here uh, and real quick here, so you can you can apply for a copyright anonymously or pseudonym. That's a fake name, a, a fictional name. Um, like I think Tom Sawyer. Don't quote me. I think Tom Sawyer was a fictional name. So you can save that. And let's say this person again also contributed text. And so now you see down here we have two authors. Now this author could have been an organization. This may have been a work for hire. So you can see. So but you come down here if you need to edit, come in here and edit. I'm going to say, well, you know, uh, Sally's not going to have any rights here. So let's get rid of Sally. And fine, this is what we have right here. Chuck Spade, Chuck C. Spade was the author and nobody else. If you had others, again, do that. Continue. Now, 
claimants. Who's going to be the claimant? Please identify the copyright claimants in this work. The author is the original copyright claimant. So I just did it, Chuck C. Spade. Um, Chuck C. Spade is the original, is the copyright claimant here, okay? To be named as a claimant means by transfer, a person, or you could have got, you could be the claimant by transfer. Somebody could say, uh, hey, Chuck, I'm tra I wrote this screenplay. I am transferring you all the rights. All the rights were gained by a transfer agreement, okay? So it could be that as well, okay? So same thing. You're going to come here, okay? It's the exact same thing. Fill out the name. Let's say you're going to do... You're going to do Chuck as the claimant. Chuck Spade is the claimant. It's not an organization. And let's do one, two, three, Main Street. Again, do not use these things. You're wasting your time. And let's say it's, let's just say it's in, well, let's go with San Francisco, shall we? Let's go with San Francisco. That would be, if I could get these drop downs to work, California. Let's go 94104. Let's go United States. Okay, if any claimant is not an author, you must include a transfer statement. Okay, so if you're not the author, you need to include your transfer statement showing how the claimant obtained the copyright. Okay, did was it by written agreement or by inheritance? Sometimes you can inherit uh, the copyrights and the intellectual property of a loved one who is deceased or by written agreement. Okay. So let's do this again. Let's save. You, you understand how it works. Either or here, okay? Um, so you have that. You have your claimants. If you have any other claimants again, hit the button again, and it'll create a new entry down here if you have more than one claimant, okay? I don't. So let's move on. Continue. Okay, we're coming over here now. Limitation of claims. This is, let's say you're... Um, your screenplay includes the lyrics of another company, like a rapper or something. You could put in here, um, some of the lyrics are excluded, meaning that's not going to be part of your copyright. You can't, you can't put in Michael Jackson lyrics and, and expect to get copyright on that, okay? So, but here, let's just say, no, there's no limits. Everything's good. It's all mine. I feel good about it. If you're not sure, contact a copyright lawyer, i.e. attorneysteve.com. Hello, hello. So let's, there's no limitations on the claim, rights and permission. Who do you want to, you may provide contact information for a person and or organization to be contacted regarding copyright management information or permission to use this work. So if you're the author, once again, I'm going to come back here and go Chuck, Chuck C. Spade. I'm going to do my email. I'm going to do all that stuff, or I'm going to do my organization. So just fill it out how you want to be contacted. Okay. Okay, now, um, correspondent. This is the person the Copyright Office will contact if there's any things. Again, I'm going to put Chuck Spade. I'm going to put my email or I'm an organization. I'm going to put my address, okay? Very simple. And if you ever have problems, you can come back here, you know, and, and check these things out. Mail certificate. This is where you want the registration certificate to be mailed. Once you're done, they will mail you a certificate. You will have a copyright registration certificate, all your own, evidencing your copyright. Okay? So put it what you want. You can see it here. Again, special handling. Don't worry about that. It's not something you're going to need to worry about. Certification. Let's go certification. This is where you're basically saying the applic application must be certified by an author, copyright claimant, or an owner of exclusive rights, or by the agent of any of the proceeding, like their attorney, for example. So you certify this, you put your name of the certifying person. If you have any special notes, you put it down here, okay? Once you're done with all that, you'll see the checkbox here. I'm not going through all that, but you'll see all the checkbox. You would just review your submission. You can save it for later. You can save the template. If you think I'm gonna do more screenplays in the future, this is just one of them. You can save the template for future use. Okay, and so you just come down, look it over, make sure everything's 100% accurate. Um, this, that, the other, publish, no, you can see all our stuff here. Here's the title, everything's good. Here's who you contact. I didn't fill all this out as you can see, but say you had a problem and you said, wait a second, wait a second, uh, this was published. Just come back here, do that and go, yes, just make your, just make your change. It's not tough, folks. So when you get to the end, you're gonna review your submission, 
You're going to add it to the cart. You're going to pay your fee. You see it up here, add to cart. You're going to pay your fee. Then you're going to upload your PDF of your screenplay. Bada bing, you're going to wait a couple months. Assuming everything was properly filled out, you're going to have a copyright in your screenplay, okay? Um, so this is better than what some people call the poor man's copyright. Well, I'll just mail myself a a copy of my screenplay and no that's there's nothing in the copyright law that says that's a, a valid thing that's not a copyright this is how you register right here copyright.gov get into the eco very simple or hire a law firm to do it for you to properly advise you and and that sort of thing okay but that's it add to card bingo you're on your way that's how you register a screenplay um, so this is general legal information only, not legal advice. This is just to kind of give you an overview. Do not use my name. Once again, do not use any of the names that I've put in this video. Um, but that's it. You do that. You've got yourself a screenplay ready to sell it and market it. You can also um, register it with the WGA, the Writer Guilds Association, if you want. And a lot of people do that as well, just to lock in the time frame. Um, but I find the copyright registration to be pretty effective here. And so there it is, folks. If you need any help hiring, retaining an intellectual property law firm to help you with your copyrights, your trademarks, that, that kind of thing. Oh, by the way, speaking of trademarks, the name of your work, this the title of your work is not trademarked. Some people ask, is that trademarked? No, well, you would have to go trademark it. And to trademark it, you'd actually have to use it in commerce. So there is a provision for intent to use. I think I have a video on intent to use which you can go watch but then again you're going to have to basically it's going to have to you're eventually going to have to show that the work was sold or used in commerce to actually get the trademark but i'm not going to go into depth on that okay copyright law attorney steve vondren here have a great day have a great week if you like this video don't be afraid to give me a thumbs up never going to hurt you never going to hurt you to say i like that thank you keep coming attorney steve and don't forget to subscribe this is good stuff Stuff you don't find on TV. There's no channel for this anywhere on TV. So have a great day. Gotta run. Take care.